Hey, this is Ace Lewis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a private Xeronet proxy just for yourself. So if you have a mobile phone and you want to access Xeronet on it, you need to use a Xeronet proxy. You can easily set this Xeronet proxy up on a Raspberry Pi, which will cost you just, you know, Raspberry Pi not run 24-7, uses basically no electric, or you can run it in, on DigitalOcean for about $5 a month. You can just run it um, permanently, well, sorry, for five dollars for five dollars a month you can run it on DigitalOcean it's really quick fast and simple and this way you can access your Xeronet from wherever you want in my next video I'm going to show you how to set up a, a Xeronet proxy for other people to use so if you want to make a public Xeronet proxy uh, and help out people who want to access Xeronet um, but don't want to install it uh, and they don't want to go through the same process of making a, pro a proxy, private proxy themselves they could use your public proxy so if you just want to use a public proxy you can use a zero proxy um, you just click go on or type in your site and, and click go and then it takes you to a working Xeronet proxy so if you just want to surf Xeronet here we go you can just use this however there are a few issues with this one you shouldn't really log in on a Xeronet proxy because you can be denominized and also it's possible that they will steal your login details um, not it hasn't ever happened yet but it is possible so first steps to um, have your Xeronet proxy is to install Xeronet what I'm going to do in this video is install it from source you can um, install from if you're on Linux you can install using the um, file on the, the installation but that has some issues with some operating systems like um, Raspberry Pis because they're on ARM architecture. So once you've updated sudo apt update, install uh, Python message pack and Python g event, and then once that's installed, um, we will then wget uh, Xeronet the um, once we have that downloaded, we will need to unpack it because it is now unpacked we need to then change into the directory and now we're in Xeronet so now we have Xeronet installed and if we wanted to use uh, launch Xeronet we would just do python xeronet.py however we don't want to do that because this is on a server elsewhere not on a local machine okay now we need to know the IP address so you can do that with um, host name uh, tag capital I then this is the IP address of the um, server that I'm running on and this would be like the local IP address an IPv6 address of the server once we have that address we can then run Xeronet Python xeronet.py. I want tag tag u, u underscore ip as star. That just means it accepts all uh, traffic. We now have Xeronet running. So we know the IP address. I'm sorry for the quick cut. I didn't have um, the IP address on hand. Here we've got the IP address of the server, and we can just put in colon four three two one. 4311 and a 0 and then we will then go to Xeronet so now here we got Xeronet running on our server and this is a, a private proxy okay so now you've got your proxy however you may want to password protect the UI or the user interface because anybody who types in this IP will then have access to your Xeronet login and see the sites you visit so we'll then open up putty we need to go into the plugins we can then list them and it says here disabled hyphen UI password we need to rename that you can do that by uh, moving UI password to UI password now should we just ls you can see that now UI password should be here it's not disabled anymore we will then cd back out 
Okay, so now we can launch ZeroNet with a UI password and then put in your password here. But because you don't want to put in the UIIP uh, star and underscore underscore UI password every time you launch ZeroNet, uh, what you can do is edit the ZeroNet dot config or conf. Now, if it's if you're you need to create this file if it doesn't already exist. You then create it. You put in global for the global uh, in square brackets at the top. You then put in UI password as password one two three UI IP. This time you don't put the quotation marks around the star, and the star just means everything. Uh, we'll then exit this and start Python zero net dot pi. We then have this running, and it's up. So now we can refresh here. And now there's a password. So let's keep me logged in. Type password123. OK, so now we have the Zeronet proxy set up fully. Uh, we don't have Tor set up. What I will do is link in the description the blog post of how you can set up Tor. Um, so we haven't actually installed Tor as well. Uh, we've only installed Zeronet. Just because to install Tor, it's a bit slightly more technical and I don't want the video to be way too long. I just want to say, show you how simple it is to set up your own personal private proxy uh, on ZeroNet. So I'll link in the, description, uh, in the description and also put on page now when I eventually do my new video showing you how to make a public proxy for everyone to use and I'll also put another video that you may want to view. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do leave it a like because it does help me out and also subscribe I have a few more videos to make that I hope you will enjoy so I'm Ace Lewis and goodbye